Welcome to Podcasting Smarter, the podcast for podcasters by podcasters. Podcasting Smarter is the official podcast from Podbean, featuring podcasting interviews, best practices, and helpful tips. We're here to give you the tools, resources, product updates, and news to help you get started podcasting and keep your podcast growing. Hello and welcome to Podcasting Smarter. My name is Norma Jean Belenke, and today we're excited to have John Kiernan, Podbean's Director of Content, here to introduce Podbean's latest feature, our blog to podcast conversion. John will walk us through how this innovative tool works, the benefits it offers for podcasters looking to expand their reach, and tips on maximizing your podcast's reach. Get ready to learn how to take your podcasting game to the next level. Stay tuned, and here we go. Hi, John. How's it going? Hello. As everybody just heard in our introduction, we just released this brand new blog to podcast feature, which we're going to tell you all about because it's really cool. And even though it's titled blog to podcast, there's some other stuff that you might be able to do with it, too. So a little bit of a spoiler, a little bit not of a spoiler, but excited to talk all about it today. Yeah, absolutely. And this is a real game changer. And just the new features we've had coming out. And for anybody who is just joining now, or maybe if this happens to be your first episode of Podcasting Smarter, we launched an AI earlier this year. We're doing some really cool stuff. So tell us about this new blog to podcast feature, because it's a really cool one. And it's not just for blogs. Correct. Yeah, it's a really innovative feature and I think really takes advantage of a lot of the power that AI can really bring to a podcaster. And especially use case that we continue to think about is think about a lot of these different businesses or different people that might have had blogs over the course of years and years because before podcasting was big, blogs were huge and blogs are still huge now. But maybe you want to repurpose that content and not just have it in a text format, but maybe have it in an audio format format. But you're talking hundreds of blog posts. You're talking thousands of blog posts many times. And you want to have them easily converted into an audio format. What you can do is you can use our blog to podcast tool to have our AI read your script in one of these many awesome AI voices that are available, import your blog into Podbean. And once you've imported your blog into Podbean, it'll go ahead and allow you to have that script read via AI and publish it as a podcast episode. So it's all really powerful stuff. And there's a lot of different things that come with the tools. So you can import your blog, as we talked about earlier. Once your blog has been imported into Podbean, it goes ahead and creates the read through for you of your blog post. And you have a certain amount of credits that you can use. You can purchase more credits to convert that blog post out. What happens also is you can choose for the AI to read the blog as you have it written, or you can have the AI look and analyze your blog and say, okay, cool, let me go ahead and reshape a little bit of what you wrote to make it even more podcast friendly. Once you've gone ahead and done all of that, when you go to flip it to a published episode, it'll have a transcript written for you as we talked about. It'll have the description written for you and it'll have a title. So basically, there's so many things that the blog to podcast tool does for you. And we talk about it just as a blog import. It's not just a blog import. If you write anything, you can go ahead and publish a new episode. Click on that new episode button at the right-hand corner of your dashboard. And when you go ahead and click that button, you can just put any text you want to into that field and have it generated for you as an audio podcast. So I know I just told you everything that the tool does, but it's just such a cool tool. And I really think it shows the innovation of where AI has come in just such a short time and how it can really benefit you as a podcaster. Yeah, absolutely, John. And number one, this is an expansion of some of the AI tools that we came out with earlier this year. So even if you're not using this new blog to podcast feature, Podbean AI will write your transcripts, will write your show notes, will offer an SEO optimized title, will write chapter markers and input them automatically for your episode. The things that we're able to do with AI are incredible. And I think we all thought, okay, AI is going to be flying cars, right? You're watching the Jetsons growing up in the 80s or 90s, 70s. You're thinking, okay, 
What's the future? It's going to be robots and flying cars, but actually it's show notes. It's blog to podcast features. And for anybody out there who has an incredible library or resource base or knowledge base of content, this is an amazing way to convert it. And if you don't have a podcast yet, but you want to start one, maybe you've had a weekly blog for years. This will automatically convert some of those, uh, all of that content really, and enable you to have a podcast resource that's really rich in the content that you've spent that time creating and very easily created with this new tool. So that's huge, number one. And number two, everybody learns differently. Everybody absorbs information differently. And for all of us within the podcasting sphere, we're all audio learners, or at least a lot of us are. And so that's why podcasting is such a passionate medium for us. And so for everybody out there who is wondering, okay, how do I really connect with people who are audio focused? I've been writing for a long time. I have all this content. You can really easily now just convert it directly and create a podcast from all of your written content. It's such a cool tool, John. We're so excited. And of course, the link is in today's show notes, and we're going to talk about it a little bit more today. It's just, it's like a revolutionary, exciting thing for us. So we're all just really over the moon about this new feature. And the other thing to think about, too, is you can use the audio feature in tandem with the blog that you already have, too. Once you've gone ahead and created your blog post, you can go ahead and use Podbean's already developed embeddable player per episode and go ahead and embed that right into the blog post. Because again, like you said, different people have different learning styles. So being able to have on your blog the ability for someone to listen along while they're reading or just listen or just read, it's just going to make your content that much more inclusive and inviting for people of all different ways of learning to engage with your content. So it's not only good just to repurpose your blog, but it's even a great tool to get that blog to do even more work for you. Yeah, absolutely. And the advantages that podcasters and bloggers gain by converting that text-based content or blog posts into podcasts are huge, right? It's going to be, you're going to be able to reach an entirely different market because a lot of people who listen to podcasts, they're replacing reading with listening to podcasts. Right? So you're able to replace, you're able to build an entirely new audience with the same content, which is really a, an incredible thing. And we're just, so excited about it, honestly. So I want to talk next about SEO benefits because blogs and a lot of text-based content is really all SEO based, right? And what Podbean AI and a lot of the AI tools we have do is really optimize as that for audio. So what SEO benefits can podcasters expect from utilizing this feature and, and optimizing their website with the blog to podcast tool? So I think first off, if you think about blogs that already optimize for SEO, you already have content that's going to be then put into an audio medium for a podcast that then itself is going to be SEO optimized in the audio podcasting ecosystem as well. So already, if you've done the work in your blog, then your audio content is going to share that same SEO benefit, meaning that you're going to get even more traffic in a medium that maybe you weren't taking advantage of previously in the podcasting ecosystem. Um, on that side, though, too, let's say you decide that you want Podbean's AI to go ahead and look through your audio and create its own uh, read through for you, right? Then any of the AI tools that we have are SEO optimizing your content as it's creating it. So you can have these blogs that maybe weren't so SEO optimized looking through your content and saying, okay, cool, let's go ahead and make sure that the audio that we're delivering to you and the words that we're saying are going to be optimized for your specific target audience. And then any of those descriptions, as we talked about earlier in titles, we already know from the previous conversations we've had about about Podbean AI, that those are all focused on SEO optimization as well. So the whole tool is really created to make it easier for you to be a podcaster and do your best work. But from the blog perspective, all of the AI tools are there to help your podcast gain even more SEO traffic in general. And the more you can leverage the AI tool, the more SEO optimization benefits you're going to get for content that you had previously released. Yeah, it's just going to pull those keywords from, you know, that incredible work that you've already done on your blog to make sure you've hit those points straight on. The AI is going to pull those keywords and it's going to highlight even more just the the essence of what you're trying to say and deliver it to an entirely new audience. We're so excited, I think, because it also just really expands podcasting. For everybody out there who's maybe felt over 
overwhelmed or just who has a ton of text-based content, this is really an opportunity to expand that fully into the podcasting universe and just fully launch yourself into our wheelhouse, which we're always excited to welcome more podcasters into the space. Well, John, before we wrap up, tell us a little bit about your personal experience using the blog to podcast feature and what you liked about it. So as everybody knows, I like to go through and create the how-to videos for you, the podcaster, and just really try to figure out the ins and outs and the ups and downs of the tool itself. The thing that I really liked, number one, was the fact on how many different voices you had, but not just how many voices you had, but the amount of languages that you have accessible to you for Podbean AI. And you can choose multiple voices to read through your content. So I think it's a really powerful tool from that perspective. Um, You hear me talk a lot about inclusivity and bringing more people into your show. Um, I think being able to offer more tools from that perspective, getting more cultures and more backgrounds to be able to access your content cannot be understated. So I was really happy with that. There are also a lot of things within the podcasting ecosystem which take time. Converting text to audio takes time. Uploading a podcast to get it to all the different directories takes time. This is one of those tools that... Even if you have a longer blog post, the turnaround time for importing your podcast and the turnaround time for generating that audio is much shorter than I think anyone would assume. It's only a couple minutes, if that. So for me, the two things that I really loved about it were how quick and easy it was to import a blog and create content and how many languages you had accessible to you, too. For any of our friends who are creating podcasts in a variety of different languages, do know that there is the tool for you. I think it's 150 languages that we support. It's something wild, and you can really try it out for yourself and see what's going to work for you and your audience. Yeah, absolutely. And for everybody out there who wants to give it a try, of course, the link is here in the show notes. And we want to hear your feedback. Please reach out to us at podcasting smarter at podbean.com. It has been such a pleasure, John. And we're just over the moon about this feature. It really is just a whole new world for so many bloggers and text based content creators out there. So thanks again for joining us and sharing about this new feature. Thank you so much for joining us for this episode of Podcasting Smarter. If you have any podcasting questions or want to get in touch, send us an email at podcastingsmarter at podbean.com. Thanks so much and happy podcasting.